Well, hello everyone, it's Alex and welcome back to my channel. It's time to watch Black Butler episode 7. It looks like we are in the middle of the cricket competition and Xiao has to now manage a tough opponent, which is the greenhouse full of really strong athletes who are literally solely focused on getting stronger physically. Now, how can our nerdy blue house oppose them and win any kind of competition? Well, that's where Xiao his mastermind and Sebastian's underhanded tactics come really handy. I think that in this episode we're going to see a masterpiece and quite possibly a headmaster himself. But just how is Shiel going to manage going against strong athletes in his frail 13 year old body? Especially that Sebastian seems to be on a way to find the headmaster so Shiel has been left on his own. Well, I'm not going to lose my hope in his underhanded tactics and cheating and I'm pretty sure we're going to see outstanding performance on his side. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help this channel grow or simply leave a like if you're enjoying watching videos with me. Thanks! Hmm, final match. Oopsie! <laughs> Nature called again! <laughs> what does it say about Sebastian? Stomach problems? Now, time for plan B, right? Because I'm sure there is one. That quickly? But that's downstairs. <laughs> Just why is this ninja so? <laughs> What's going on? What was that ninja so? There's no ninjutsu in this anime. Judging by show that something good happening. Lao, so that was a signal to Lao. It's going to be funny, I have a feeling. <laughs> Mm, secret whispering. Love it. Something embarrassing though. Something that applies to the human's nature. Great. <laughs> What's happening? <gasps> I see. <laughs> it's great, right? It's just great. <laughs> Disgraceful, <laughs> and yet you are all red on your face. <laughs> you love it. Perfect. Bit of fun service for those thick headed athletes. I think it's gonna work well because I bet you anything he is a virgin. He always acts like he's so pure. Exactly. <laughs> Sebastian, you. <laughs> Believe of not, I've done that in the past too. <laughs> <laughs> it always works out on people. <laughs> like when you have those people come into the door, you know, knocking on the door, want to say things like, I'm sorry, I don't speak English. <laughs> What's going on? Does he have a double or supernatural powers? Oh, 
So he's not gonna move and it's all about defense. I suppose. Look at them. You'd think it was all like a tactic, but they were actually practicing real hard. Surprisingly, quite a lot. <laughs> oh, shell. Is that so a cricket, though? <laughs> no fun in it, but if it, this is the only way they could score better than Greenhouse, then I suppose that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Sword in the stone. Oh, I love it. I love it. Curious now. They are quite ahead. Victory almost in their pocket. Twelve balls though, so they could lose. Uh huh. Come on, and she can do it. Although you are quite weak in your physical body. What is that supposed to mean? That is a proper tactic. Exactly, since Sebastian is a devil. If he senses his presence, then he's not human. What? A puppet? An illusion? Surely not. Just what is going on? Is he an angel? Or another devil? Someone who made a pact with the devil, no doubt. We'll see about that. Oh. And he's done it again, which obviously is a part of the plan. Well... <laughs> of course. Game is the game. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Come on, Midforto, you are supporting Hayes to Phantom Hive, so shut up. Look at his hands. Oh wow, he really practiced really hard and he actually spotted it. Mate, you are way too innocent. But that's fine. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Can't help but love this anime. Now that is not going to be easy. It's a showdown. Now that's bad. Everything so well planned. Now who's going to take over from him? Okay. It looks like he has a plan though. That is a really high bowl. He seems surprisingly innocent, just like the other prefect of the greenhouse. It doesn't seem like they are doing anything dodgy with the headmaster, does it? What if they are brainwashed though? And they don't remember all the bad things they've done. If they've done anything bad. I really don't know. It's such a mystery. Now that was so precise. 100% hard work. <laughs> That's how Blue House, full of nerds and super intelligent people, wins. <laughs> I love anime exaggeration, it's perfect. <laughs> Oh no, not him. That is not going to be easy. But they have advantage of so many points. Go for it. Do it, just do it. <laughs> that is so high. Wow. What is this strength? Could have killed someone. Superhuman. 
hundred three points. That's bad. I didn't realize they can gain so many points at once. <laughs> you can't overlap, right? It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Last one. Shio has a plan, I'm sure of it. Look how he's playing. This calm and sweet voice of Hento Hai when you know what's lurking in his mind. Another underhanded tactic. Imagine if Xiao was an actual politician. Oh my god! <laughs> Such an animal like. <gasps> oh my god, he probably knocked Phantom Hive. But this almost happened before. <laughs> I'm not laughing that he's got hurt, but I it just looks like you know when you watch a football. And you've got footballers slightly touched by someone and they're just acting like they're in such a pain. I mean, look at him. Yes, he's bleeding. But he's reaching for that ball and he's going to throw it before the enemy reaches him. Is it a draw though? Or is it a win? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was so shocked. <laughs> you didn't know about this tactic. This was like Shell's final tactic. You must have just come up with it like at the last minute. The last resort. Embarrassing technique, but yeah, he totally won with that. And he looks there just like his dad, doesn't he? I think he was actually really happy, like he wasn't pretending for a moment. He was just really, really happy that he won and that it worked out for him, even though he got injured, which obviously makes his soul even more tasty for Sebastian, hence why Sebastian smile at the end because it just makes him just absolutely delicious. Now, I don't quite know what is going on with the headmaster. He definitely has some sort of supernatural powers or there is a trickery, like a puppetry going on because that's what it could have been. So it could be angels, although we're not supposed to know about them because they're not in the canon, are they? Or it's somebody who's using hellish powers, someone who sign a contract with the devil himself but what kind of devil what if the contract has been signed with a shinigami the god of death the reaper of souls i mean what kind of other entity could we have in that particular world i'm curious definitely really curious to find that out and what is happening to all of these boys like if they are all dead then they must have been sacrificed to someone he's and the next episode says he's a butler locking up interesting indeed now I'm sure as hell curious about the next episode, so hope to see you there. A massive thank you to anyone supporting my channel, particularly my patrons and Isaac. For those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon where you can find uncut, full length and 100% opacity videos, early release. On top of that, I react to Patreon exclusive anime titles. 
And as my Daimyo Patreon, you can even get a shout out in the video. Alternatively, you can join this channel as my YouTube channel member, gain access to other exclusive perks, and all of this you can find in links below. Your support means the world to me, and all of the donations go towards the equipment subscription and building my YouTube studio, which is something I'm planning for the future. It's been a joy to watch this anime with you, so I do hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!